morning. It's Marissa with the Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me today. Today is a Friday Sews. Friday Sews is a hashtag that Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room started, and I really enjoy taking part. It uh, helps me have, have some structure to the week and uh, enables sewers to chat about what they're up to and uh, what they have planned for the week to come. I would also like to thank everybody who has um, subscribed, who has liked and commented on my videos. I absolutely um, love chatting with everyone in the comments box. Um, and I also um, just really appreciate anyone who comes back week after week. If you do uh, like my videos, if you like sewing, if you like fabric, if you like crafting, um, mainly sewing though, and fabric, uh, then I would love it if you would um, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to grow the channel um, and uh, reach more people. And also, apparently, if you press the like button, that also helps uh, share my channel with others. So thank you so much. So today I had a really, or today, this week was a really good week. Um, I think I shared plans for a few garments and I got all of them made. Um, and um, they were all um, items I'd made before, um, quite sort of basic items. And um, they have been really sort of what I needed in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna show all of them on. Um, so I'm gonna pop in pictures as well in this corner. But um, the first two items I am wearing. So I will stand back and show those to you. So the first item is um, what I'm wearing underneath. This um, this actually, this sweatshirt here is um, the Sinclair uh, half raglan um, sweatshirt, I'll put the details below, um, that I tested, did some pattern testing. I probably should have taken this off before. Apologies for undressing in front of the video. Um, but the fabric I used, you can see here is this, um, got a slight sparkle to it. It's a really pretty blue. Um, it's a it's a thin French terry. Um, I think for the sweatshirt, possibly, I said before, it would have been better to work with something with a little bit, bit more structure, but um, I do really like it. So the first item that I got sewn up this week um, is the Jessie T, which is a free pattern by True Bias. It's relatively new. You can see here, it's a very simple um, boxy tee. So you can see here, sorry for all the sunshine. Um, let me pan down a bit more. It's just a very simple boxy tee. I size down, I actually think um, for my next one, I will size down again. I think I will lengthen it as well. Um, but generally speaking, really like it. This is a, just a white cotton jersey from my local fabric store. Um, it's super soft and I've had it for a while. And um, yeah, but this is a fantastic pattern. I think you can get it um, for free if you subscribe to their newsletter, if I'm not mistaken. And maybe, But maybe that was a limited time only. Um, but it's just a really simple pattern. I believe it comes in both um, of their size ranges. So this one is a 0 to 18 and then I believe they have um, another size range that maybe goes 14 to 30 or something. I'm not 100% sure. But you can see you've got two options. You got the cropped option and then this is the option I made. Although I think, like I said, in my next one, I'll size down and then lengthen it. But super, super comfortable. Just again, very simple boxy tee and I, I do really like it. I made, this is my second one and I have enjoyed wearing it. So that's the first item, the Jessie Tee by True Bias. Um, the second item I made uh, is a pair of Hudson pants, also by True Bias. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about these because if you haven't heard of these pants, you have been missing out. Uh, I make the size 16 in this, which is, um, yeah, it's about my measurements. Um yeah, and um, it's super simple. I love the um, sort of details here, which I'll show you if I can get the paper to cooperate. 
I like this sort of pocket detail and then I like sort of all the top stitching. I left out the drawstring just because I find it kind of bulky if I'm wearing like a sweatshirt over it. Um, but I shall pan down and show you. I made it in the same sparkly blue fabric to remind me of the 90s. Now this outfit is, it disturbs me slightly, but at the same time, I find it kind of humorous that this outfit with the matching top to the pants, which I'll show you the full, I'll give you the full visual, reminds me of something my mother wore when she was my age, which is again, like I said, slightly disturbing, but funny. But you know, I'm wearing a proper sweatsuit, proper 90s sweatsuit which I explained to my husband is back in fashion, according to a few websites. Obviously, those are the websites I showed him. But anyway, I thought it would be a bit of fun. I purchased this fabric from Rides Textiles, and for anyone who um, is mainly in Europe because they're a Dutch company, they have a really cool, um, sort of opportunity to pay a drastically reduced price if you order over six meters of one fabric um, because they offer you the wholesale price and in most cases it's like half the price. Um, and so this was already on sale and then I or ordered six meters. I think I got this um, for like four pounds a meter or four euros a meter, I should say. And it's super lovely. Like I said, it has that slight glittery um, component and it is lovely and I have loads more. So I shall be making more items with this. So if you hold on one minute, I will change into the next outfit or the next item. Okay, I'm back. I am back wearing a pair of pajamas that I got made up. Now I shall show you again, I'll add some pictures here and then I'll also step back and show you. But I made these pajamas using two different patterns. The top is made using the Tilly and the Buttons Billy sweatshirt pattern, made in this very standard sweatshirt um, option. Uh, it is made in a quite a thin um, uh, spandex jersey. So there's probably about 5% um, stretch or 5% spandex in here. Um, you can see the fabric is a bit crazy. My husband said it's like one of those optical illusion um, where you keep watching it and like the eyes following you. I don't really agree with that. Yes, it is quite busy, but I thought the colors were quite fun. I got this from a German fabric store whose name I don't remember, but I'll put it in the description box. And this was $2.99 a meter and I bought three meters. Um, and I did have a bit left over after making the full set, but quite a good deal. It's super comfortable. Um, this particular pattern, if you haven't Aren't aware comes in a size one through 10. Um, and that is a bust of 30 inches going up to a bust of 48, waist 24, up to a waist of 42, hip 33, up to a hip of 51. I believe I made the seven, which is again, roughly my measurements. Um, it, it's definitely like a looser sweatshirt, but I like it like that. I probably could have sized down if I wanted it to be a bit tighter, but I didn't. And then for the bottoms, I used the Ikati Seattle leggings and jeggings pattern. So these are the jeggings. And um, I've made this as probably my third or fourth pair of these. Super lovely and comfortable. Um, really like making these. Um, they're, I mean, these are the line drawings. There's several options, but I mean, are the jeggings very different from the leggings? I don't believe so. I can't fi figure out how they would be. So these are a picture of the jeggings. Now are those, I mean, to me, those are the same. Anyway, very comfortable. Um, these come in uh, sizes um, 32 to 52 French sizes. So what does that mean? That is a, um, I don't know what that is. Where are the actual measurements here? Okay, here we go. So 32 um, is a 30 and three quarters inch chest 
a 24 inch waist and a 33 and three quarter hip. And that goes up to a 48 inch chest, a 39 and a half inch waist, and a 49 and five eighths inch hip. So not the biggest size range at all, but um, I squeak in towards the top end. And um, yes, really like this pattern. Very simple, very straightforward, nothing fancy. And I shall show you the full glory of the psychedelic pajamas. So you can see it's a color explosion. Sorry about all the sunlight. This office here that I work in has lots of windows and I can't sort of escape it. So another successful make, and I've already worn them many times and I'm thrilled. I will be back with my final make. Okay, so my final make you can't see because they are pants, but I will obviously be showing you in a minute and I'll also pop in some pictures. My final make is in this lovely book called So Beautiful by the woman who runs Itch to Stitch. Now these pants I have made before. I believe this is my third pair. And um, these are called the Fortuna trousers. And I shall show you a picture here. There's a couple of options. <clears throat> so these are them. There are the joggers, the shorts, and then the wide leg pant. And that is what I made. Now I did leave off the drawstring and I did leave off the back pockets. And this time I tried a fabric I haven't used before. <clears throat> and I've used these in a bangle and stretch, which te technically is a woven fabric. But the amount of cross grain stretch is incredible in terms of, um, it's, it's actually stretchier probably than, or had more give than a lot of uh, knits. So I thought it would be fine. It's also a slightly thicker fabric, um, which was nice to work with and certainly nice um, for this time of year when super thin pants are too cold to wear. They suggest, um, let's see, obviously they suggest full, you know, knit. Um, uh, it says use a medium weight four-way stretch knit fabric with 25 to 50% horizontal and vertical stretch. French terry sweatshirt and ponte are good choices. Now, like I said, this is a Benglin stretch. It is absolutely a woven fabric, but I'm super pleased with them. So I shall um, pan down so you can get a good look. And um, yeah, so here they are. So they're really nice. You can see it's like loads of stretch. Um, I really like the fit, really pleased with them. They are quite wide leg, which you can see here. And um, yeah, they look kind of nice in terms of, I don't wanna say fancy, but they're quite a nice look. So I'll actually um, take a couple pictures with um, what I would probably pair this with, um, but I think I could look quite smart. But anyways, like I said, I've never sewn with this fabric. Um, I believe it is mainly um, polyester, but I could be wrong. I will look back. I bought this from Dries and Stauffen. It was a very reasonable price. And um, I think they sell quite a bit of this type of fabric. So I am gonna have a look at possibly buying some more and making another pair. Because like I said, I really like, um, they're super comfortable, they look nice, but also um, I like the weight. Um, Cause I've not made this pair of pants, the Fortuna trousers in sort of a heavier weight fabric, which I think is quite nice. Now this particular book in terms of sizing, goes from, they call it a zero, zero to a 20. The zero, zero is 25 and three eighths inch waist going up to a 40 and a half inch waist, hip 33 and a quarter going up to a 48. So again, not the biggest size range, um, but, um, but yeah. So they do have a lot of other lovely patterns in this book. I have made one other one, which was a woven top but I definitely want to make a few more items in this book. It's really a fantastic book. I would highly recommend it. I will just quickly show you a picture of some of the other items which you can make. So here you can see the shorts in this pattern that I've made. And then there's a few other items here, you can see. And um, here are some more. This looks quite fun. I'd like to have a go at that. It's like a cardigan with a wrap. And then this is quite a pretty shirt with a nice tie detail. And then this is the other one that I did make. 
So really nice book, highly recommend it. That is all I got sewn up this week. Now, what am I gonna do this week? Well, I am going to, I've already made a start. I'm about to start quilting this fabric, which is for the laptop case, which is this pattern. Again, I've talked about it a couple of times. It is a fantastic pattern. I'm gonna make it without the straps. So it's more just like a sleeve. Um, and I made one for my husband for Christmas and it came out super nice. So I'm gonna get that sewn up. That was pretty quick. I've got a few um, sort of little pouches, little boxy pouches I wanted to make using the Apple Green Cottage boxy pouch pattern. And then what I have been doing, and I am gonna have a separate video on this, but I've sort of spent longer than most thinking about sort of my goals and what I wanna do this year. And um, I have thought about that. So I'm gonna put out a separate video on that. But as part of it, I've got a bunch of like bag and wallet and that type of pattern that I wanna get made up. And as I am going to the US in a few weeks, I have been being very, very organized and looking through all of the patterns, all of the bag patterns and what supplies I need, making sure I either have the supply or I've been um, making a list of things I wanna buy when I'm there. But I've also been looking at some fun um, bag making companies that are based in the US so obviously I can't order that kind of stuff here. And so I've ordered a couple things from Noodlehead. Um, I've got a cart going at Zippers, Zippers, no, Zipper Valley, I think it is. And so I've been really, you know, trying to think about my purchases, but at the same time, making sure I have all the supplies. Cause that is one thing with like bag making is like, you need grommets, you need buckles, you need this, you need that. And if you don't have that, it can make the whole process less enjoyable. Cause you're sort of, oh shoot, I forgot this. I have to wait. Um, so that is what I have been doing. So I will uh, be putting out a video on sort of my plans and my thinking about how I want to tackle different projects for 2023. It's not like make nine or anything, but it's just sort of my thought process um, on how to approach planning what I want to get done this year. So I will leave it there. Thank you so much for listening and watching. And I hope it was enjoyable. And again, thanks to everyone who has subscribed and liked and commented. I really appreciate it. I'd love if you could support my channel by giving me a thumbs up if you like the video and also subscribing and clicking the notification bell. But I hope you are well. I hope it is as sunny where you are as it is here. And I hope you have a great weekend full of lots of sewing. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you.